Welcome back to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I consider you a one hit wonder, but I'm glad you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, hello, hello, hello. Today's video, we are going over the free shawl patterns that I have bundled for the sha la la la. These bundles are found on Ravelry. They uh, will consist of some knitting and some crochet patterns. All of these are free. They are in two different bundles, but I will link all of the bundles below. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna get right into this and uh, start. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the knitting pattern. Someone had asked me if there were going to be any knitting patterns included. And even though knitters are invited to to participate in the shalalalong, I hadn't pulled any pulled together any patterns. But um, I, I decided to go ahead and you know pull together some just based off of how they look. Really, huh? It says that there's ten, but two of these are pinned twice. So, Brr. no. Yeah, there's not 10, there's eight. No. Why is this here? Please hold. Okay, so there are eight. Two of these were pinned twice. <sighs> All right. There are seven. I'm going to stop clicking things now. In no particular order, let's get started. This pattern is called Dream On by Mango Badango Designs. That's fun to say. Okay, it has nine projects and it requires fingering weight yarn, a US four or three and a half millimeter needle, 550 to 570 yards. Dream On is knitted on the bias with pops of color added throughout. It is the perfect shawl to wrap around you on a chilly summer evening or to ward off the office air conditioner. Next is called Tell the Bees. This one has seven projects. It's uh, Tell the Bees by Susan Crowell and it requires sport weight yarn, a four millimeter needle and 850 yards. It is a reversible triangular shawl knitted asymmetrically and blocks to a more traditional triangle shape. They remind me of a honeycomb when I look at them and let's face it, they are way easier to knit than cables. Okay. I like that you can see the solid pieces. Yeah, so like lace, solid, lace, solid. Next shawl is called Island Shawl. Okay, this one, it's it can use any gauge uh, yarn and a five millimeter needle. Oh, but it is written in Dutch. Why aren't you willing to learn Dutch to, to, to knit this pattern? I'll show it to you anyway. It has nine projects on Ravelry. That's really pretty. I love how knit patterns have like a spine, you know, this, I guess a, a spine that runs through the middle. I, I would say that's neat. It looks so soft and dainty. Very pretty. Okay, so yeah, you might have to learn another language to do this pattern. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Next on the list is Ocean Breeze Wrap. It uses, fin oh, it's by Anna Maria T. It uses fingering weight yarn and a 4.5 millimeter needle, 700 to 710 yards. The finished size is 72 inches wingspan and 17 inches deep. Ooh, interesting. All right, this one has 31 projects on Ravelry. Uh, 
I like that. Now this one reminds me of, I think, was it the Advent? The Advent one that we saw on the uh, last video with the paid crochet patterns. Next is oop, a Fall in Love. That's the name of the pattern by Le Crochet d'Argent. I tried that in French. It requires a sport weight yarn and a four millimeter needle. It uses between 492 and 591 yards. This one has six projects. Oh, oh. There's another project photo. Wow, I was going to say I thought she used minis to make that, but it looked like that's how the yarn stripes up. That's really pretty too. Our last knitting pattern is called Sunshiny Day Shawl. It is by Ray Blackledge. It has 11 product, 11 projects. It calls for a DK weight yarn and a 4.5 millimeter needle with uh, 766 yards. Yes, sunshiny day is very apropos. Apropos? That's a good name. That looks like it was like, done with a Karen cake. Picture of one. That's all for the knitting patterns. Again, Ravelry is full of free shawl knitting patterns. These are just the few that Okay, and these are the crochet, the free crochet patterns. There are 29. Let me see how I'm going to choose. How am I going to choose? <laughs> We're going to choose the Misty Sunrise Shawl. This was the shawl that I said I had chosen that this was going to be my shawl along shawl. I still like it. Anyway, this is made by, hmm. Yep, I'm gonna put her name across here because I don't wanna butcher it. It requires fingering weight yarn, a 4.5 millimeter hook, 700 to 800 yards. It is Tunisian crochet. There's mesh and eyelets. And I said it's Tunisian, right? Okay. Now you can pay for this pattern if you wish. It is four pounds or $5.18 US. That's just so pretty. And when you're looking at Tunisian crochet, this is impressive to me. Cause again, I don't know how to do anything that involves like the raised stitches, like the way this one is uh, displayed. So. Yay. Our next contestant is Crystal Blue Sensation by Crystal Dodeman, AKA Bag of Day Crochet. It requires a DK weight yarn and a six millimeter hook. It's available for free. Um, more than likely when you click the link, it'll take you to her YouTube channel. So there's a tutorial. There's only two projects and here is the that's the photo, I mean the model photo, the project photo. There's a lot of texture going on there. That's like bobbles, bobble city. Yeah, that's a lot of bobbles. Now here's one that I have made several times over the past 20 years. I think I've made one. I've made eight. There's only 12 projects. This one is a pattern from the 1970s. Uh, you can, I updated the link so you, you can click on the, you know, the archive, web archive to get the pattern. So it's a, a Columbia Minerva. So it was like probably a pattern that was on a yarn band or in one of those like leaflets that you could get you know, way back in the day. It requires worsted weight yarn and a four millimeter hook, 840 yards. Here's one. 
that is my baby. This was taken a very long time ago. Another one that's almost like it's still in progress because that's quite short. The pattern is really easy to, you know, the repeats are real easy to memorize. You just pick them up and go. Next up we have, this is the Lineo shawl and it's by Joy of Motion Crochet. I really like her website. I like her patterns because they tend to be more on the plus side, plus size side, but they're very flattering. And in reading her patterns or looking at her patterns, I discovered one thing, especially when it comes to making items when you are fuller, the lighter weight yarn, the more flattering it is. So most of her patterns, I believe, are DK and lighter. And she's got like sweaters and tops and, you know, shawls and things like that. So that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, this pattern has eight, I'm sorry, it has six projects. It requires lace weight yarn, a size 3.5 millimeter hook, and 874 yards. You can pay for it to support the artist, but it is also available for free. It's an interesting shape, at least the way they have theirs laid out. Lace weight. Imagine the drape is just amazing when you have lace weight. I mean, whew. Okay, our next contestant is the Wren Sideways Shawl. Now I had chosen, I think five of this, this designer's patterns because they're all made sideways, which I just, I thought that was just really neat. But her name is Claire M. It calls for worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook, 874 to 880 yards. That's such a pretty color too. Oh, there are now 40 projects. So she is just right. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so nice. There's <laughs> one that is just delicious. And she, it looks almost as if she used some minis to make hers or, you know, her advent skeins. So there's a good idea or a good interpretation of how you could possibly use some of your scraps or advent skeins. All right, this one is called Simple Asymmetric Mohair Shawl by Amanda Manis. This one requires one, one strand of fingering weight and one strand of lace weight. I'm assuming that the lace weight is probably the mohair. You need a four and a half millimeter hook and 415 yards. So that's one skein of, um, fingering weight yarn. There's a tutorial that comes with this also. Right. That's pretty. I don't know how I feel about mohair. This one has eight projects. Hers are in the pretty blue, greens and orange. It looks very delicate, like, um, you know, like, ugh, like, de I don't know what the word is. It, it's pretty. I just have no words other than delicate, but delicate in a good way. I'm picking this one because this one is the most unusual shape I've ever seen. It's called the Canoe Shawl by the Autumn Acorn. It calls for fingering weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. 800 to 900 yards. There are eight projects on Ravelry. Now, the description for this one is, this shawl was designed to be meditative. This shawl was designed to be a meditative, peaceful crochet project that you can leave in a basket near your bed to work on just a few rows each night before drifting off to sleep. Easy and intuitive, Perfect project for using up all of those leftover sock yarn scraps and advent calendar minis. A uniquely constructed scrappy crochet shawl that's so fun to crochet. All right, look at this. Oh, 
again, the most unique shape I've ever seen. It looks like she used some Advent minis. Yep, she used some Advent minis. So those are just a few of the many, many projects that are available on pattern. Huh. That's just a small look at the many patterns that are available on Ravelry for free for shawls that you can crochet or knit for the sha -la, la la I hope that was helpful. I think now looking back on all the decisions that I have not made as far as what I'm going to make, I may, I may make one free and one paid for crochet pattern. What? I might do that. <laughs> I might. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. If you like this video, please like this video. If you want to stick around and join the Glam Fam, please do that by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to rock that notification bell. Until next time, I've been Jackie.